Hey guys, the NASCAR Xfinity Series just got done with their cutoff race for the first round of the playoffs. That means four guys are eliminated. Yes, it's a cutoff race. And those four guys are Brandon Jones, Ryan Sieg, Justin Haley, and one more John Hunter Nemechek. It's really unfortunate for those guys. Um, it was a pretty tight battle on the last spot uh, during the race, but otherwise, lots of people were advancing uh, during the race. And it was at Dover, uh, so let's go through the results of the race. Cole Custer, one of the big three, gets his seventh win of the season, his ninth career win. He's proving why he's part of the big three. Cole Custer is going places. Give him a cup car already. Come on, Tony Stewart. Come on, Gene Haas. Hurry up. Justin Allgaier gets second. He swept both of the stages, won both of them. And Justin Allgaier, uh, the drought continues, still has not won a race this season. Had a really, really strong car. I would argue maybe the best car um, between him and Briscoe, really. Uh, Custer did not have the best car. And uh, Allgaier gets second, really unfortunate for him. It was mostly because of that caution with Dylan Bassett kind of crashing. Austin Sindrick gets third. Austin Sindrick technically started on the pole because Chase Briscoe, who won the pole, had to start in the back because they had electrical issues. Austin Sindrick gets third. Austin Sindrick had a pretty good day going. Um, you know, nothing too flashy. He led some laps in the first stage, and that's what you need to do uh, to advance in these playoffs. Justin Haley, one of the guys that got eliminated after this race. Uh, unfortunate, he was basically in a must-win situation. Anyway, he gets a top five. A caution came out late with Dylan Bassett. Kind of saved him. He could have possibly won. That's why he was up so far in the top five. But, um, yeah, he gets fourth. So not bad by Justin Haley. Chase Briscoe, the technical uh, point pole sitter, gets fifth, a top five finish. He led some laps today. Chase Briscoe did really good. Um, Chase Briscoe uh, started in the back. He had some electrical issues, even though he won the pole. And a good day by Chase Briscoe. He got two poles in a row. Uh this week at Dover and last week at the Charlotte Roval. Uh, Michael Annette gets sixth. Michael Annette advances. He went, he got stage points. Didn't get too many of them, but just stayed consistent throughout the race. He had to start in the back. He blew up. Uh, him and Briscoe had to start in the back. They were up into the top 10 for the first stage. Um, so great job by Michael Annette in advancing. Uh, best year ever for Michael Annette and Junior Motorsports with that team. Noah Gregson advances. He gets seventh. Gregson just had a no, not flashy, just a solid enough day for Noah Gregson. A top 10 finish good for Noah Gregson. John Hunter Nemechek gets eighth. John Hunter Nemechek does not advance in the playoffs. Really unfortunate for him. He was doing what he needed to do. He was closing in on Michael Annette to, to advance and Annette not to, but then they didn't have all their lug nuts tight and uh, he had to come back down pit road. Caused them time. Nemechek was in the back and he couldn't make that point scap up. Same with Noah Gregson. He also had a... Uh, uh, lug nut gun mal malfunction, but he was able to um, advance anyways uh, at the same time, basically, but Nemechek was not able to with that uh, basically loose wheel. Uh, Zane Smith gets ninth. Zane Smith just another top 10, racking up those top 10s in that part-time ride in Junior Motorsports. Good job by Zane Smith in the top 5 for a while today. Ryan Sieg does not advance, but he gets a top 10 this week. I didn't expect Ryan Sieg to advance. That's a small team. They don't have the resources. It was really, it was just great that he made the playoffs uh, in the first place. But um, he doesn't advance to the second round, the round of 8. But that's okay. He could build that team to make it better for next year and maybe advance next year. Uh, Brandon Brown gets 11th. Brandon Brown is pretty impressive today. I mean, I'm really impressed with him. Uh, Tyler Reddick gets 12th. Tyler Reddick, uh, loose in qualifying, almost crashed. Then during the race, he, on the first lap, he crashed. Uh, there's a huge crash at the beginning of the race. The, not even, it was on the first lap. They didn't even complete a whole lap. And Reddick was one of those crashes, smacked into the wall, ha had to go back. But then he started passing people and got up to 12th and kind of just stayed there, didn't go anywhere else. And that's where he finished. Um, yeah, he obviously advances. Uh, Ross Chastain gets 13th, the watermelon man. Um, good to see him get a get back in that number four car uh, in the Xfinity Series. Solid day in the top 10 for a while. Dylan Bassett crashed late in the race. Kind of really helped out Justin uh, Haley. Didn't help out Allgaier at all, though. Um, Josh Williams gets 15th. Solid top 15. 
Bassett and Williams, two DGM cars there. Uh, nice to see those guys get uh, to both um, top 15s. Uh, BJ McLeod gets 16th. Ray Black Jr. gets 17th. Uh, he had a crash during the race. His teammate, Gray Golding, 18th. Stephen Parsons, 19th. Vinnie Miller, 20th. David Starr, 21st. Joey Gaze, 22nd. Stephen Light, 23rd. He was in that crash with Ray Black Jr. And so was Matt Mills, who gets 24th. Though They were all in a pretty hard hit really a uh, hard crash and uh, really unfortunate for them uh christopher bell gets 25th christopher bell smacked the wall a little really early in the race just smacked it and then the fuel pressure dropped and he had to go to the back and they replaced some things in the car and went up went to the garage and uh put the hood up and stuff and came out like 13 14 laps down and uh yeah he couldn't make that back up and he gets 25th unfortunate for christopher bell obviously he advances he's already won in this round um garrett smithley gets 26th timmy hill gets 27th carl long 28th landon castle 29th once again qualifying that morgan shepherd car great up in 12th today uh joe nemechek gets 30th chad fincham 31st jj ailey 32nd bailey curry 33rd mike Harmon 34th john hunter nemechek made some contact with him early in the race and sent mike Harmon into the inside wall and crashed him unfortunate for mike Harmon. Uh, Kyle Weatherman gets 35th. Jeremy Clements gets 36th. He blew up during the race. Unfortunate for that small team. He gets 36th. Um, they make their own engines, build their own engines. And 37th and 38th is Brandon Jones and Harrison Burton. Two Gibbs cars, both teammates with Christopher Bell. And um, both on the first lap, uh, Harrison Burton, his first race here ever, just kind of got loose skid down the track and got right into brandon jones caused brandon jones to get a dnf and not advance in the playoffs unfortunate for brandon jones harrison burton not even in the playoffs he's not even full-time in xfinity and um yeah really unfortunate on the first lap and then the tyler reddick crash where he smacked the wall that was also on the first lap they didn't even complete a lap yet that's crazy and then maybe the second or third lap maybe it was the first like christopher bell hit that and the fuel pressure dropped either way it was really early in the race and all three gibbs cars bell jones and burton had terrible days uh two dnfs and one just a many multiple laps down so unfortunate for them so uh thank you so much for watching this video guys i really hope you enjoy uh and yeah i will see you on the next one and um thanks for watching of course and bye bye guys he should have pulled a carl edwards yes he should have